for your appointment? Okay, perfect, great. Well, you're a new face around here, so welcome to the Strength and Dignity Salon. Here we laugh without fear of the future. <laughs> My name is Rowan, and I'm really glad to see you in here today. Um, so let's go ahead and get you checked in, if that sounds good. Okay, let's see. Um, can I have your name? Oh, pretty name, I love it. Okay, let me just... Yeah? Okay, got you right here. So, what exactly brings you in today? Okay. Yeah, yeah, nothing too fancy, just a little trim, a little shape up, etc. All that good stuff. Perfect. Okay, well, is it all right if I sort of get a little feel for your hair real quick, like the texture, weight, and all that stuff? Okay, perfect. Let's see, I'm just gonna get up here. And, okay. Yeah, so we've got something like the hair. Yeah, so you do have some length here. We can definitely uh, trim that up, maybe two inches, if that sounds okay. Yeah, just get all of those dead ends off. Really, it'll really um, help lift things up, uh, give you more volume and all the things we want. So, if that sounds good, we'll go ahead and get started. Okay, so first, I just want to get you covered up. Uh, I'm not going to be doing a full wash and shampoo today, but I will be dampening your hair with a spray bottle, and I don't want to get your super cute outfit wet. Girl, you are clothed in strength and dignity. I know that was a dumb joke, but I'm not even kidding. That's a really cute outfit. Let's go ahead and get you covered up. Okay, so now let's get your hair nice and damp so that it is easier to cut. Nice little spray bottle here. I'm just gonna shield your face a little bit. Okay, here we go. through it a little bit. Get some of the um, larger curls out right now. Okay, that looks good. Let's give you a top of your head a little bit. through a little bit. Yeah. Okay. Pull some of those out. Okay, let me just see. Okay, just a few more spreads. 
Okay, so now I just want to give your hair a little brushing um, to really get all those tangles out, to really get that length that we want to see, to make sure that I cut it evenly across the bottom. All right, so let's go ahead and do that. Okay, so not to sound weird, but you do look a little bit familiar. Do you actually maybe go to St. Mary's that's just up the street? Okay, I thought you looked familiar. Got it, got it. Are you new around here? Because I don't really remember seeing you before a few months ago. By the way, if I'm being too nosy, you can just tell me to hush. <laughs> Yeah, you are new. That's awesome. Just moved in a few months ago. Oh, that's great. Well, how do you like it here? Oh, yes, I completely agree. It's small enough that it feels homey, but still big enough that you don't feel bored every weekend. Yeah, I totally agree. Now, I'm probably biased because, like, I grew up here, I've lived here my whole life, but, um, I love it here. Yeah. I got all my sacraments done at St. Mary's. That's where my sister got married. I was her maid of honor. Of course, she didn't have any choice in that. <laughs> but yeah, like I said, I'm biased. Oh my gosh. And Father Patrick, isn't he just amazing? Ah, oh, I love him. Yeah, so he actually is pretty new to the parish too, just a young guy, but man, we all love him already. He's just really on fire for his ministry. Ugh, love him to death. Really great guy. Let's see. A little bit more brushing. Yeah. There's that length starting to come in, getting curls out. That's great. Let's see. Top a little bit. Yeah, make sure we get all of that. This side too. glad you're here. I'm really glad to meet you and uh, welcome to town. <laughs> okay, let's get started with the cutting. All right, just make sure we got it nice and straight down here. So, speaking of Father Patrick, I have the most hilarious story. Okay, so my sister and her husband, uh, they invited Father over for dinner the other night. That's something we should all do more, isn't it? Invite our priests over for dinner. Anyway, they invited him over to dinner, and they have uh, two sons. James and John Paul. Let's see, James is 10 and John Paul is eight now. Wow. Okay. Anyway, um, invited him over for dinner and of course the boys were so excited and they thought it was so cool that they had their priest over at dinner. So of course, what else are you going to do but invite him to have a Nerf gun war with you, right? What else would you do with your priest that's over for dinner? Okay, so the boys get out their Nerf guns, everything. Father Patrick, bless his soul, agreed to do it. I think, honestly, he was kind of excited. <laughs> he had this sort of little boyish grin on his face, loved it. Uh, so they're, they're running around, they're chasing each other. Here, let me get your hair damp again real quick.
chasing each other, running around, yada, yada, yada. And um, so the way that my sister's house is shaped, it kind of goes in a circle. So you can be in the living room and then run to the kitchen and then run to the hallway and back to the living room. Okay, point of that is the boys were all chasing each other around the circle, right? Okay, so then... Father Patrick at one point stops and he waits for the boys to come running around the corner. Well, of course, James, the older one, is normally in the lead. And so <laughs> I think that's what Father Patrick was expecting. He was expecting James to come around the corner first. But it was little John Paul who came around the corner first. <laughs> And the way that Father Patrick was aiming, he shot and hit poor little John Paul right in the face. Thinking, right, that it was the older brother, James, coming. But it wasn't. Uh, I mean, obviously, John Paul was totally fine. Father Patrick felt so bad, we could tell. But my sister, who was totally, completely laughing at the situation, mind you told Father Patrick not to worry about it one bit. Yeah, it was hilarious. I mean, honestly, seeing your priest nerf gun your nephew in the face, that's one for the books. Also, not to be weird, but Father Patrick gives the best confessions. <laughs> right? I know. I feel like he's really listening to me and what I have to say because he always uh, sort of, I don't know, comes up with commentary for what I was talking about. And his penances are just so interesting. Like, last time, I hope I'm not getting too personal here. I'm not going to tell you what any of the sins were, but he, uh, he asked me to do the litany of trust as my penance. And I was like, that is so neat. And I think one time he gave me one of the Psalms to pray. Like, that's so creative. I love it. it really helps me think more deeply about my penance and all that stuff. Not that I don't love a good Our Father or Hail Mary or Glory Be, but, you know, it's just fun to mix it up once in a while, right? Thank you. Yeah. Okay, let's see. Let's get the top of your head real quick. Just sort of feather the sides. Is that okay? Love it. Okay. So before I dry it, straighten it, I'm just going to brush it out one more time to make sure that the ends are even, that I didn't mess up while I was chatting. Just kidding, I swear I'm a professional. <laughs> okay, let's see. Good. 
Okay, so one more thing before I blow dry and straighten. I like to give all my customers a complimentary scalp massage. So with your permission, may I? Today's verse of the day is from 1 Peter chapter 1, verses 8 through 9. Though you have not seen him, you love him. And even though you do not see him now, you believe in him and are filled with an inexpressible and glorious joy. For you are receiving the end result of your faith the salvation of your souls. Okay, I'm gonna read that one more time. Though you have not seen him, you love him. And even though you do not see him now, you believe in him and are filled with an inexpressible and glorious joy. For you are receiving the end result of your faith, the salvation of your souls. Okay, let's go ahead and get you blow dried. I have had this little lady for some years now, and though she be but little, she is fierce, let me tell you. But don't worry, I'm going to keep it on low today. I don't want to do any damage to this freshly cut hair of yours. So here we go, love.
nice and dry. Okay. Okay, so is it okay if I um, give it a little bit of a straightening before you go, a little bit of styling? Okay, awesome. And would it also be okay if uh, I say a little parting prayer for us? Okay, I thought you might say yes. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Dear Lord, thank you so much for this time spent with a new friend today. I pray that you grant them strength and dignity and the inexpressible joy that comes from loving you and experiencing their salvation. also pray that you will grant us peace. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Okay, let's take one last look. looks really good so let me go ahead and get this cover off of you see well that is that it was so nice meeting you I'm glad that I can finally put a name to the face and um, I'll see you on Sunday will I see you for coffee and donuts afterwards Love it. Okay, great. I can introduce you to my sister. And she is even more of a talker than me, so be prepared. <laughs> uh, oh, and maybe I can introduce you to my nephews too, which they'll probably be off running around, but maybe they'll stop by for a few seconds to say hi. <laughs> anyway, so nice meeting you, and I will see you on Sunday, and I hope to see you back in here again soon. <laughs> All right. Good night, friend. <laughs>